Hi, I'm Kirsten McLaughlin, Public Affairs Manager with Cox Communications, and this is Community Connection. Today we have Tom Faram, Deputy Public Works Director of Santa Barbara County. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thanks for being here. So today we're going to talk a little bit about El Nino and how our community is preparing and can prepare for what may be coming. We've heard a lot about El Nino in the news. What does it mean for us here in the county? Well, I, I think it's important to recognize that um, although El Nino increases the odds of having you know, significant rainfall, I think we also need to be cognizant that any year we can have significant rainfall. And so we need to be prepared every given year. It's good that El Nino is giving that awareness to the public, but really we see it as something we should be looking at every year and not just El Nino years. And what are you all at the county doing to prepare specifically this year? Well, because we don't necessarily plan on a year not being a heavy rainfall year, we uh, pretty much prepare the same every single year. And that starts back in March, even before there was a lot of hoopla over El Nino. We do our, um, our inspections of creek corridors and we prepare a plan for doing creek maintenance in the, the entire county, in the areas, mostly the urban areas. And then we implement that plan starting in August and then we complete that plan December 1st every year, which we're um, always on target to meet those um, uh, expected rainfalls in any, any given year. And how can individuals prepare their homes, their businesses, et cetera? Well, I think it's really important to recognize that the county plays an important role in preparing for every winter, but the individual property owner has to as well. Um, the county handles the major creek corridors to make sure that they can transmit the water, but in any given year, as we've seen in past years, you know, we do have flooding events, unfortunately, in Santa Barbara County. So individual homeowners have to be prepared as well, whether it's protection for their individual home or, or uh, residence, or whether it's having a plan to where you would have to move. In some cases, we have uh, significant flooding and requires people to be away from their home for a while. So being aware of, of where you should be going uh, if you have to uh, evacuate your residence. Can you give us some examples of what homeowners can do at their properties? Well, I think it, it, it varies depending on the size of the property that you have. Um, most single family um, uh, homes have a, a drainage pattern in their yard that typically takes the water and gets it out either to the street or, or to some facility that would take the water. And you want to make sure that that's op uh, operational uh, before the rain because uh, you know, in the middle of the rainstorm, that can be a little bit of a messy, uh, messy endeavor and quite cold and wet. So make sure if you have roof gutters, if you have yard, yard drains, for instance, at my yard, I have a series of yard drains that if I don't keep those clean, you know, it could, we could get water in our garage or whatnot. So you want to do all that ahead of time. And then, of course, last ditch effort is having sandbags available. And the county does provide sand and bags to the public free of charge. Uh, those um, areas are open uh, October uh, through the through the springtime and uh, we do limit it to 25 bags uh, per household but you want to get those early um, again on a day of a heavy storm there's going to be a line there so <laughs> I think it's preparation and, and try to have it such that you don't need sandbags but as a last ditch effort and you do need them if you've experienced flooding in the past have those available so that you can address the situation right then and there. What other resources does the county have for local homeowners and business owners? Well, the county actually has developed a, uh, as we call it, the Homeowner's Guide to Flood Response, though it's available on our website if you go to countysb.org. And uh, actually, there's an entire um, web page called Storm Prep, uh, countyofsb.org slash storm prep. And it has all sorts of information from other governmental agencies and then also a link to that homeowner's guide. Hard copies are available at our office. Um, also, the Board of Supervisors offices have them available as well. You can pick them up if you want a hard copy. But if you want to get the uh, eco-friendly uh, paperless version, go, go to the website and just download it to your computer and you can have it there. That's great. And so as um, we prepare for flooding, then the next logical question is, what do people do when we do have flooding? What should people be aware of? Well, I think, first of all, listen to and follow all instructions from emergency responders. If the sheriff's department or city police departments advise you to evacuate or to stay out of an area, uh, please do. Uh, the last thing that we need as uh, all of the agencies responding to a storm event is to have to divert resources away from um, 
um, rescuing or addressing people who have made some poor decisions on where they go. Definitely don't drive in flooded intersections or uh, any area that has moving water. It, it, it's going to cause a problem for you and for somebody else and we just don't want that. And then of course be prepared to know where you should go. If you have friends, family, if, uh, if, if the area has flooded in the past and you think you might have to evacuate, have a plan prepared so that you can get yourself and your family out and safety as uh, soon as possible. Well, thank you so much for being here, Tom. As we close today, do you have any final thoughts for the community? Well, I, I think it's important really to recognize that, that this type of thought process should go on every year. Every fall, you should be thinking about this and do the advanced measures on your property ahead of time. And if there's permanent um, changes to your property that would solve your problem for you, um, do that and invest that money now and you'll, you'll thank yourself later. That's great advice. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. And thank you. Until next time, this is Community Connection.